Quintleers at the 2019 Nationals with Carrie Mulcrone. Carrie, this is an amazing show. You're here every year. Tell me about uh, what it means to be here at the Nationals. Oh, wow. Loaded question. So I think it's the pinnacle of what we all do every day, all day long. And I get to watch other people in their moment of success. And that's what I think is really cool. That's what Nationals is about. People living in their moment of success. Now, it, Carrie, a lot of you don't know, you, a lot of you know Carrie, but a lot of you don't know that Carrie has a superpower. Whoa. And Your superpower, you, you know, you can walk in and you know the needs of people. You can, you can connect with people, meet those needs, and you are um, making, you know, th that's why so many people just love you and care about you, and uh, you bring people together. Talk about that. So I live in the give to get world, which you and I have talked about a lot, that I give first to get whatever else that I need. But philosophically, this is going to sound really weird, right? Is that if you, hi don't care who wins, if you don't care who gets credit, everybody wins. And for me, I love to see people shine in their own moment. It's an awesome thing. You know, there's a great quote. It says, it's amazing how much you can accomplish if you don't care who gets the credit. I think it was Dale Carnegie. It was Dale Carnegie. You know, and I just think that there's just some things. So I look at your age and I look at my age. And I think that all of a sudden we've crossed and like you'll take me in my 60s and you'll take you in your 30s and you'll just go all of a sudden that kind of what's old is new again and caring and like when business used to come on a cocktail napkin. I mean seriously, right? Some big business happened that way. So it's trust and it's your character and it's always out there. We talk about David Knox, oh, right? We do all the time. David Knox, he says, look, these guys, you know, they have their apps and their technology, but the big people, the people that are really making the money, what are they doing, Carrie? Fundamentals. Back, not just even back to the basics. They care. And they just help people. David Knox was the beginning of figuring out the process and the system to help people get what they want because then you get what you want. David Knox... Check him out. He's a legend. Um, what has it meant for you? You know, you've seen uh, the, some of the people that you've mentored, the Anya Chrysanthens, the, you know, the Meredith Oliver, you know, now they're rising up. Um, by the way, you're not going anywhere. You know, like 50s to 20 or something. You know what I mean? It's, so that's kind of a funny thing that all of a sudden people are like, I get, I'm starting to get asked this year, and I'm like, why did this come up this year? That it's like, how long are you going to stay in business? And I said, so like at 65, is it a forced retire? I'm like, I own my own company. I'm going to be in business as long as I want. But when I think about that and I look at those people who I've worked with and I've mentored, I realize this is my litmus test. As long as I'm relevant, I should stay in business. The day that I cease to be relevant and or fresh with new information and new energy, then it's time for me to pass my legacy on. I don't think so. I think that love is always relevant. Ooh, Quint, that... So then I get to stay in business for the rest of my life because nobody loves people like I do. No, that's why I told you. You, you. you care. That's like today. So, and Quentin was there and it was really fun and I was in the sales and marketing, Sales Central today, and I thought I was going to mix it all up. And I'm usually like tips and tricks and strategies, right? And so my talk today was heart smart selling and how some of it has to be your smarts and some of it has to be your hearts. And I kind of put it all out there. And I told everybody my Katie story if you were there. And um, it was like so well received. So I thought, here's a room full of all these random people, right? And they all got brought together by one thing loving and caring about people and understanding listen to your heart and speak from it can i disagree with you for one moment because oh, you, you let me well, i'm good i love our band no watch this watch this you you pointed your head and you said smart and yeah. then you said heart but let me tell you what i think okay. i think the heart is smart do you know that they're actually finding right now that there's uh uh the heart has a level of intelligence it even has a memory and i love that and there are memory muscles so as you and I are in our banter, and we talk about our heart, and we talk about our smart, and so we're both... The heart is the smart. The heart is the smart. It really is the smart. But what comes out 
to the customer comes from the heart and becomes smart. And how does what comes out of our heart become smart? What is it? It's our words. So it's like, when was the last time you wowed somebody? When was your words of worth so valuable that you wowed somebody with that W-O-W, the words that you used? And I'll just tell you really quickly today that when we were had our sale at Sales Central, when I had my little program, is that the thing that I understood as I went back and I recollected, because you and I talk often about how long I've been in the business. So really quickly, it was 1989, and someone was walking up my sidewalk, and I was on site sales, and like yourself, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be fabulous. Here comes a customer. And this woman is storming my model with all these things because she just was given a grant for her daughter who had disabilities. And she was like interviewing builders, if you will, for size of hallways, size of doors, ramps, capabilities of accessibility. And finally, I just went, wow, can you just, let's just for one second, I have a really good question for you to Katie's mom. And I said, what can Katie do? Because you're telling me what Katie can't do and her disability. And what I want to know is what are Katie's abilities, not disabilities, and what she can do. I would rather talk to you about designing a home around what Katie can do. Coolest day Ever. And I recollected on that in 2018. What year are we in? 2019. Thanks. I'm always a year behind, but I'll keep you, Quint, around. Is it, and that happened in 1989. And it made me realize that if our words are part of our heart and our smart, so it's can versus can't do, it's ability versus disability. And that's my new challenge for salespeople in 2019 to work on what your vocabulary is that wows people. You know, it's in the Proverbs. It says the the uh, word, no, 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 it's in the book of James in the Bible. It says, it says that the words are like, um, the tongue is like the rudder of a ship. It's the, one of the smallest parts, but it turns the entire vessel. It turns a massive vessel and gives it the direction, just that little um, uh, rudder. Yeah. I absolutely believe that your words are the customer experience. Everyone's trying to figure out how to dial in to the customer experience. And I'm like, your words create your discussions. Your words create your presentations, your demonstrations. Your words are how your customer care people talk to people. And yet we don't dissect the fact that the English language has like 500,000 words, right? So the average person knows about 2,000 of those 500,000, okay? You and I know about that. But here's the killer on that. Our day-to-day -day vocabulary that we use is more like 250 to 300 words, our habitual words. So basically, it's like we're, we have starved vocabularies. So if we could figure out how to feed our vocabulary, we would be able to feed that heart and that smart. If anybody thinks words don't matter, Think about, it. Think about a word that somebody said to you that hurt you. Oh, my gosh. And here's better, that you can't take it back. When you have said something thoughtlessly, then you realize that it's out there. So being aware of what you're saying and your words and your vocabulary is like your own self-education. Who believes in self-education more than you and I? Read a book. You don't even have to get a sales trainer like me. Just read a book because it will grow you exponentially in what you become as a person. I think with that, 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 you can't beat that. I'm here at the National, uh, Caesar's Palace. <laughs> this has been an amazing show. It's been just nice talking. I love these I just know. conversational stuff. I it's know. good. You and I always know how to converse, how to banter, how to figure it all out because... The gift that we have is it's not about us. It's about them. Yeah, that, that's a huge thing. Um, people need to know that. It's not, about, it's not about us. It's not about us. If you can repeat that, if you can know that, then there's no pressure. In a sales environment, it, you, it's focused on the customer. Yeah. In an interview like this, it's about you or the person. And, uh, Correct. And, uh, that's kind of a mistake I made when I first got in because it was actually like, oh, my gosh, I'm here in front of the camera and I'm interviewing people. And it's like, oh, my gosh, look, I'm here. Yeah. But being able to just know, like, lose, lose, yourself, lose yourself and then you can, you know, find yourself kind of.
you know what, that's really valuable. Lose yourself and you'll find the other people that are around you. Because again, like we said, it's not about you, it's about them. It's not about the need that you have to say all these things. It's about the need that they have to understand what they wanted. What did they want to learn when they came in? My newest sales training is that, because although it all starts on the website and online, the minute they walk in the model, we all know that's our first face-to-face. So that's our first heart-to-heart, right? Is that as soon as you explain to someone that in this question, very, very tightly put that says, so I have a lot of things to show you today, but what was the most important thing that you came out to see or learn? Because to me, that's the most important thing. That's brilliant. The heart is smart. You're a legend. Thanks so much for joining us, for making a positive impact. Hey, do me a favor. Yeah. You, use your superpower for good, okay? Whoop, I will. I didn't even know that. My wings are going to fly. Thanks, buddy. Take care. All right. Thank you. Visit thenationals.com.